Today, we will talk about deleverage. Deleveraging is the process of reducing total financial leverage, which means the reduction of debt and the opposite of leveraging. It can occur through immediate debt repayment, but if a company or individual is unable to do this, it may lead to an increased risk of default. Debt or leverage has tax benefits and helps with business operations and expansion, but excessive debt can lead to financial harm. Deleveraging involves paying down debt by liquidating assets or restructuring it. When used properly, debt can be beneficial for a business, but too much debt can increase risk. Companies can issue debt to investors in the form of bonds, borrow money from banks, or creditors. Incorporating debt financing helps a company invest in capital projects, prevent share dilution, and increase liquidity. Companies often take on excessive debt to drive growth, but if leverage does not lead to the expected growth, it can become unsustainable. Deleveraging aims to reduce the percentage of a business's balance sheet funded by liabilities. Two methods to achieve this are raising cash through business operations and selling existing assets. While successful deleveraging can be favorable, it does not always go as planned. Selling off assets at a loss can negatively impact a company's share prices. An inability to sell or service debt can lead to business failure, and the market for failing debt can collapse, resulting in substantial losses for firms. Deleverage is generally beneficial for companies, but if it happens during a recession, it can limit credit growth and accelerate the downward spiral in the economy. In such cases, the government may step in to take on debt and provide fiscal stimulus to prop up the economy. A scenario involving a company with assets funded by debt and equity is used to illustrate the impact of deleveraging on financial ratios. By paying off debt, the company's return on assets, return on equity, and debt-to-equity ratios improve, making the company appear healthier and more favorable to investors or lenders. Here are three key takeaways. 1. To deleverage is to reduce outstanding debt without incurring any new debt. 2. The goal of deleveraging is to reduce the relative percentage of a business's balance sheet funded by liabilities. 3. Too much systemic deleveraging can lead to financial recession and a credit crunch. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.